Hello guys and gals, Mike here once again from Games for Charity. Tonight, I'm in a game called Space Hack. Uh, I got this on Steam recently, and it is very uh, interesting, to say the least. It, so far... I'm trying not to talk while I'm shooting, because I think that's going to be a bit loud. Lock out my voice. Um, it seems to be kind of like a, a space Diablo game. It's definitely not as good as Diablo, at least so far. Uh, it has quests. It does seem a little bit. Second. It does have quests and stuff like that in there. Um, it just really, from the start, it doesn't give you much info. I got bosses coming my way, and he is. It's like a big truck. And he just got owned. Um, so, it doesn't really have a tutorial either. Now, it's, you'd think it's pretty basic, but like, I didn't know down here is where my energy is. It doesn't say that this weapon uses energy. You know, I kept picking up cells, which I'm guessing now is money. And I'm like, you know, I've got tons of cells, why the fuck can't I shoot my guns? Well, you gotta wait for your energy to build back up. Um, the slingshot at least doesn't use energy or so. It's like so minute, it doesn't really seem to move. Uh, you will have requirements for certain items and stuff like that. Leveling seems kind of slow. I don't know what the max level is, but already I've been killing quite a bit and I haven't even hit level 2. Let's see... Yeah, still level 1. Oh wow, I'm not even halfway there. And I'm killing harder stuff that I, at least I think it's harder, because... <laughs> Not even killing it quick. Um, the way you turn the camera is actually with the mouse. So I'm not too fond of that. Oh. Uh, milling is definitely high damage, but of course, you know, you gotta get up close and personal with that. Uh, it doesn't really matter with the other melees. Yeah, with range, obviously, you're gonna have to dodge as you go up there. Or try to, otherwise you're gonna oh, shit, another lost guy. Oh shit! And I haven't even saved recently. Oh, this ain't gonna end well. Another real drawback is when you're holding the uh, mouse wheel or the attack button to attack one person and they die, like if you have a gun, uh, it doesn't automatically keep shooting even if you're hovering over another one. Like in other games where you know you can sit there and do this and you know hold the mouse button down and it'll keep shooting at whoever. And I think that's a real big drawback in this game. Um, I'm on two quests right now. Shit, another one of those things, holy crap. There is a little... You can't run by hitting R. I believe that, yeah, that burns your endurance, which is right here, the gray, which I didn't even notice before. Ouch. I really need a health thing on Bobber. I'll go ahead and hopefully I have enough for this. Obviously, I died. Um, another thing that kind of sucks is, at least that I've seen, 
you don't have, uh, you have to save. Um, I haven't done saving in a long time. So if you don't save often, you're going to die and you're going to lose all the shit you just got. Like that helmet. <laughs> I can't get it. Um, going back to the quest, so the uh, graphics are not that great in the game, which, you know, it's that's okay. It's not really an expensive game. So know that also. Um, the mini-map leaves a little bit to desire. You actually have to read the quest, it appears. Um, because, like, when I hit map, I don't see on here any indication of where I need to go. But anyways, I mean, you can get it on Steam. It's not too shabby. It is a nice little twist than your normal, you know, Diablo type thing, because it's actually more like, I don't know, I, I want to say space, but it's not really space. You just have a weapon and stuff like that, a gun. Um, just a little bit different. Anyways, guys and gals, thanks for watching, and, you know, it's pretty smooth so far. I haven't really found any bugs, so hopefully you'll give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Cheers.